If you've been struggling to choose which hardware wallet to purchase between the Trezor Model 1 and the Trezor Model T, look no further because in this video, I'm gonna give you an in-depth comparison of both Trezor devices and give you my honest opinions after using them both over the last four years. So as you can see, I personally have both devices and use them almost on a daily basis. So in this short video, I'll go over everything you need to know to help you choose between the two devices. I'll go over the pros, the cons, the features, security info, and everything else you need to know to make your decision an easy one. Now I'm not here to waste your time. You can see this is a pretty short video. So let's get right into it, starting with the design of both devices. Now in terms of design, the Model T is slightly larger than the Trezor one and weighs around 10 grams more than the Trezor One. The Trezor One has two single buttons on the device and a small monochrome screen that supports up to six lines of text, while the Trezor Model T has a full color LCD touchscreen. Now both devices work the same by just simply being plugged into your laptop or computer. However, the Trezor One uses a micro USB connection versus the Trezor Model T, which uses the increasingly more popular USB-C. The Model T also comes with a much longer USB cable at 45 centimeters versus the Trezor One, which has a very short cable at 10 centimeters included. The Trezor Model T also comes with a magnetic dock, which I personally love because the dock allows for an easier everyday use versus the Trezor One, in my opinion. And now let's move on to one of the most important features of a crypto hardware wallet, and that is the security. Now, of course, both Trezor devices offer amazing security over your crypto, but there are some slight differences that I'm gonna share with you right now. So the main difference between these two devices is the Trezor One gives you a 24 word seed phrase versus the Model T, which gives you just a 12 word seed phrase. Now, it might seem weird that the more expensive device has a lesser seed phrase, but that's because a 12 word seed phrase is still extremely secure. I did a little research and it turns out that even with a 12 word seed phrase, the number of different possible permutations is in a number that I couldn't even attempt to read. It is just an unfathomable number. So they lowered it from 24 words to 12 because even with 12 words, the chances of somebody guessing all 12 English words in the correct exact order is basically zero. Now the Model T does also allow you to add an additional level of security known as a Shamir backup, which allows you to create several different phrases that you can store in different places or with trusted family, friends, or another third party. These shares created with this backup option require at least two of your created share phrases to access your C phrase, adding another level of security for your device that the Trezor One does not offer. Another benefit the Model T has over the Trezor One when it comes to security is the touch screen. So this touch screen allows you to input your pin code for your device directly on the device's screen versus having to, having to input it on your computer with the Trezor One. So even if a hacker has access to your keystrokes on your computer, they won't be able to access the device because there was no way to see your pin that you type in on the screen of the Model T. So when it comes to security, the Trezor Model T does come out on top, but both devices have a level of security that would be near impossible to crack. All right, now let's move on to the supported cryptocurrencies you can hold on your Trezor devices. So when it comes to supported cryptocurrencies, both devices provide a lot of options with over 1,000 different currencies able to be stored on both devices. The main difference is the Model T supports several more than the Model 1, including coins like Ripple, Cardano, EOS, Tezos, Monero, and a bunch more. Now, if you'd like to check if your favorite coins are supported on these devices, that is super, super easy. Just click the link in the description, scroll down and find where it says check supported coins and tokens, and you can type the name of your coins here to check which device supports yours. All right, now let's talk about the price difference because this is usually a big deciding factor for people when it comes to choosing which Trezor model to get because there is quite a big jump in price. Now these prices can vary, so be sure to check my affiliate links in the description to get the best deal possible on your devices. So when it comes to choosing between the two, in my opinion, both are great options. In fact, I just showed you, I have both devices myself to store different cryptocurrencies on each device. Both are amazing options to secure your crypto versus a cold storage wallet. But if you are just starting out and want to simply make sure your crypto is secure, you might just want to choose the Trezor One just because it is a lot more affordable than the Trezor Model T. However, if you are somebody with a significant amount in crypto and want to have an extra level of security over your coins, then I'd highly recommend you get the Model T. 
especially if you want to secure coins like Ripple and Monero that aren't supported on the Trezor One. Now, if you want to be extra secure like I'm doing, you can just buy both devices and use the Model T as your main device and your Trezor One as a backup device in case you misplace or lose your Model T. So guys, that's just about it for my comparison of the two Trezor hardware wallets. If you have any questions about either devices, drop them in the comments below and I'll be sure to answer them all. If you found this video helpful, please don't forget to drop a like, subscribe, and share this video on social media. And if you already have one of these devices, drop a comment down below letting me know your experience with it so far. I would love to hear your opinions. But as for this Trezor comparison video, that is just about it. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.